Hello beautiful people, my name is Ashley and I'm the owner and creator of Recandled Kindled. Um, but you can see that I am currently in my classroom. I figured today would be a vlog style video. I am currently during, I'm currently in the middle of lunch and my students are away and I've been planning some things that I have to get done when I get home tonight for um, my small business. And some of those things are restocking spring scents. So I've been planning to restock for a while now and I've been putting it off, but I really need to get it done because a lot of the scents are sold out. And if I keep waiting, those are sales that I'm missing out on. So I'm going to restock tonight. If you see me keep looking down, I'm looking at the list that I made of things that I need to do. I need to restock tonight and then I need to do some marketing because I've been really slacking on that end and then I need to package whatever orders that I have for the day and that will be my night. So I'm going to continue with planning during lunch for what I need to do tonight. My students are gonna get back in about 17 minutes and then we're gonna jump right back into class. And then at the end of the day, I've got some grading I need to do. Once I'm done with the grading, I will head home and hop on this list. So I will be seeing you all then. So just checking in to say that we have a change of plans. I have to stay after school today to do a meeting. So it'll be a little bit longer, which means I don't think I will be able to get everything done on my list that I was planning to, but that's perfectly fine. So instead of um, packaging tonight, I'll just go ahead and make candles. So that's it, we're making candles tonight and that's it. And then um, I will push packaging to tomorrow or Sunday cause it's not like I would be able to ship them out until Monday anyway. So we're still good. See y'all later. So I've just made it home. I'm in the hall to my apartment. Gotta get my key without doing too much. How are you? All right, so I'm over here getting my space ready and I just realized that I never moved the new jars that I got in this week. So I ordered two boxes of jars. Um, so typically when uh, the families that I talk to that I order jars from, when they like have enough to ship me a, um, a large flat rate shipping box. When they have enough jars to fill up a flat rate shipping box, I typically order them then. So one family filled one and then there's another one underneath it. So that means I have about four, eight, 12, 16. There's probably 32 in here. Cause as you can see, there are some underneath. And then in the one beneath it, there's anywhere from 12 to 24. I can't really remember. I have to look at the invoice, but since this is a vlog, I just wanted to go ahead and show you all that before I move them off the table. Another thing that's super exciting is I just received a hundred pounds of my summer wax, which is interesting. Okay, so I've cleared off most of the table, but I left a couple things just to show this process. So in here were jars. I've unwrapped them. These were, it looks like, old magazines or newspapers or something like that. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish making sure they're all out. And then I'm going to move all of this into my bins of things that I need to reuse. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, this time, we're going to jump into cleaning these jars that I've put out. Cleaning these, um, these are morning hikes, so there's nine of them that are made. Perfect, that's one less batch that I have to make tonight. These are gonna be sweet peach because they are my priority today. So if I do 10 sweet peach and uh, let's see, 10 weekend picnic, 
because I know I'm like clean out of those. And then I can do a couple larger ones of the sweet peach and the uh, morning hike. So we're gonna do that tonight and then tomorrow we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Things are dropping. Things are falling. So this is just where I put all of the filling, the filler that I get. And then people who purchase from my store will also get the filler. And then we'll be great. So this is interesting. I've never received plastic as a, um, a space filler, like plastic bags. So that's interesting. Um, but we'll find a way to use them. We always find a way. Those are interesting. Boom. And then, let's see. This is a box that I will likely use Use to ship something else. Um, I'll probably end up flipping it inside because if you look inside you'll notice that it's just a flat flat rate shipping box turned inside out, which is smart shipping. Smart shipping, smart shipping. Sorry, let me go ahead and get in there. Super smart. Love that. I'm gonna rest it over here with all the other boxes that I need to reuse. These guys are all so good for padding cardboard. Love that. And then this is just going to go plop right on top. Done. That's it. Love that. Um, got one more. Going to wrap. Okay, so here I am making 10 4 ounce candles and 2 8 ounce candles. So I'm going to be weighing out 51 ounces of wax, and then later in the video, I'm going to add 5 ounces of fragrance oil because I do anywhere from 9 to 10 percent fragrance oil. So go ahead and watch me weigh out the wax and enjoy. <laughs> for the wax to get to a temperature where I can add the fragrance oil. Here I am adding more wax to the wax melter and I'm trying to get it as full as I physically can because when it melts down, it melts down to a liquid form that's about half the size of how much it is in flake form. So I do that for a little while until the wax comes down to the appropriate temp uh, temperature and then I'm going to go ahead and add that fragrance oil. <laughs> So here is where I add the fragrance oil. Because there is 51 ounces of liquid wax here, melted, melted wax here, I am adding five ounces of fragrance oil. 
and it's a little bit more than 51 so I gave my room uh, myself room to go over just a little bit and you'll see that I get to about 5.01 ounces which is perfectly fine <laughs> So here is when I prepare to wick the jars. To the left of the jars are my wick stickers and I am going to be peeling off the little paper piece that's attached to them and sticking the wicks to the wick stickers. And since there are 10 of the small jars, I'm starting with 10, but I'm going to need a total of 11 because the small, the bigger eight ounce jar is already double wicked. I just need to wick these 10 four ounce jars and the single eight ounce jars, which I end up doing off camera. So you all don't get to see that, but here it is. <laughs> Since it takes the wax a while to come down to the temperature that I need to pour it at, I wanted to go ahead and label these sweet peach candles. And this specific jar is a jelly jar. So if you see me feeling for seams, I'm feeling to make sure that the seams are in the right place so I don't put the label over them and it causes blemishes. So I just want to get the label in the right place. These are both 12 ounce jars in the scent sweet peach and I just wanna make sure I get them labeled while I have time. Here you can see me adding warning labels to the candles that I'm about to pour because I'm still waiting for the temperature of the wax to cool down to 100 degrees. So the wax starts at 185, 185 degrees, then I add fragrance oil at 165 degrees, and then I need to wait until it hits 100 degrees for me to pour. And that can take anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on the temperature of my home. While we continue to wait, I'm just going to clean up these jars, snip the wicks, and put a label on them. <laughs>
So we've finally made it to a place where the wax is cool enough for me to pour. I just heated the tops of these because there were some blemishes, so I'm moving them out of the way to make space for me to be able to pour these new candles. So the, what I like to do is I like to pour them really close to each other or as close as I can get them to each other just so there's no spillage and then I move them out of the way after. <laughs> tonight are just setting and I will adjust them in the morning. It's getting pretty late so I will see you